All right, first and foremost, I'm going to say all praises be to Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of the great most and shalom to the sincere elect, teaching this truth and faith and sincerity through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Quick topic I want to speak on is 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 basically mm -hmm. the um downfall of Esau fucking Edom, man. All right, and Esau, Edom, according to the Bible, through the spirit of prophecy, right, the um, spirit given unto the prophets of the Lord. Are you so-called people who call yourselves white, man? And look, man, I'm just, uh, through, through the spirit and power of your how about you know, shy? I'm just here to let you know, you, you're fucked completely. You are absolutely done, right? You, you, you've wreaked havoc and destruction upon this earth, right? For, for hundreds, really, for, for thousands of years, going back to Greece and Romans, you know, then going into the period of the Renaissance and even up until this very day, right? And, like, you've touched the people of God along with these other heathens in various time periods on the earth, man, right? So, you are gonna, you are gonna pay, right? And, in case you didn't know, the one who you ignorantly go, Jesus Christ, he's very angry at you, man. And, he already said, right, that when he comes back, yeah, he ain't going to go meet you as a man. No. He's coming back with a power driving force. This is um, Isaiah chapter, chapter 47. Calm down, sit in and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. And the virgin daughter of Babylon is America. If you go into the word the daughter... Right, in the Hebrew, if I'm not mistaken, or if it's in the Hebrew or the Greek, it says here, as a personification. So a thing that personifies um, something comes in the same characteristics and spirit as it. So basically, it's, it's called the, the virgin daughter of Babylon because it, 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 it comes in the, the, the same spirit as, 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 as the ancient one. Right, in this glorified, highly exalted state, right? It says, um, sit, sit, sit on the ground, uh, sit on the ground. But, but if you go back, it says, um, sit, sit, sit in the dust, which, 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 um, which, which is confusing because, like, let's say, like, you're having a fight or something, and someone throws. Throw some dust in your eyes, it confuses you, man. It puzzles you. So basically, the virgin daughter of Babylon is gonna be in a confusing state when their kingdom is taken down and they're completely confounded by the, the line of the tribe of Judah, man. Right? It says, um, sit on the ground. There is no throne or door of the Chaldees, for thou shalt be no more called tenor. Delicate, right? Because time's going to become where your your power, your authority is going to be stripped away from you. But before that take place, the spirit of of of, of the um, Lord is having you exposed, man. And you can't do anything against it, man, because the heavenly Father is against you, right? It says. Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover thy, thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the fire, pass over the rivers. Because look, right now, you're, you're, you're being exposed, man. For a long time, people have uh, accepted you as um, the white man. The white man. But now, you know what? It's been known there before the world. Right, starting off for, for us, you know, hopeful uh, uh, elect and prophets preaching this word that you are the children of Esau, bro, and you can't hide that because you can't hide himself. Yeah, it says, thy, thy, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, and that's what's going on now. Like, for example, if you're walking down the street and someone strips you uh, like of your clothes. 
the, the, that's that's that, that's gonna bring you shame, man. You're gonna be like fuck, and shy and sh- and shame and shame faced. But so so now, we're exposing you as as Esau, as the wicked, that you pollute the earth, you destroy the earth, you 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 fucking destroy their people's minds, right? And that you touch the apple of the Most High's uh, uh, eye, man. Right. So 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 that's what's happening. Yay. That shame shall be seen, and that's what we're doing. Because the thing is, yeah, you know, you know, you, you had that guy on fucking CNN say, "So, what's your beef?" Well, part of our beef is that your people, right, has oppressed our people for a very long time. In fact, in slavery, there's accounts, right, where you chopped up a slave and served him with a side of rice, man. And, f- and fed him onto the other slaves that saw him die. And that's part of your shame, bro. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So guess what? Right there and then, the one who you call Jesus Christ, he called you out in prophecy. You guess what? The, 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 the prophecy means to say before. And the prophets of the Lord spoke his words. The prophets of the Lord spoke the words of the Lord, man. Right? It says, I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Because 2,000 years ago, right? When he um, came as a man, right? Right? The um, Romans, with the help of our people, Crucified him, right? But guess what? This time, you 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 do ain't even gonna even get in touch and distance with the Lord. He ain't even gonna lift up a sword. But he gonna fuck you guys up, man, with his spiritual power, man. And with with, with the help of his his men, when we get the spiritual power too, and his angels, man. This is um. Isaiah 63 Who is this that coming from Edom With dyed garments From from Bozrah This that is glorious and is a power A power Traveling in the greatness of his strength I that speak in righteousness Mighty to save Wherefore art thou Ready now in apparel And thy garments like him that traded in the wine fat That's basically The um, modern day chief Chief city of of Edom, which is B- 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 Bozra, is, is is America. America in the Bible is known as Bozra, Babylon the Great, Assyria, a a a, a door of the Ch- 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 Chaldees, and more, man. Wherefore art thou ready now the power? Because the one you call Jesus Christ ain't coming with peace. He's coming with a sword, man. And that garments like him that treaded in the wine fat. I have trod in the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. So he's saying, look, man, he's going to fuck you up, man. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. And I will stain all my raiment. But guess what? He called out Edom. The scripture says Esau is Edom. So he's basically saying. He's coming to fight. Right? The the, 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 the kingdom of, of Esau, Edom. Along with these other nations too. It says. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart. And the year of my redeemed is come. Right? For for, for, for the day of cause, cause, so, 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 so guess what? It's, it's, it's basically in his mind, man. Right? He's really he's really like you know he, he can't wait, bro. You know? This is um Isaiah 42 and 14 And I'm going to start from, from, 
from 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies, man. So, look, man. The one who you call Jesus Christ ain't, ain't coming with cupcakes and cookies, man. He gonna roar. He gonna roar, man. He gonna let you know how he feels in that day. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. Yeah, so guess what? He's, he's, he, he, right now, he's holding it down. He's waiting for the okay for the most high. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still. And refrain myself because he really wants to get on you heathen's ass, man. Now we're like crying like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills. I will dry up the herbs. I will make the ri the make the rivers I islands and dry up the pools. Man, this is what's happened, man. When he comes back, this is what he, 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 he's coming with. All right? This is um, Jeremiah 4. All right? It says, The lion is come up from his thicket. Right? And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. So, 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 so the one who's going to beat... You heathens, Esau into subjection, the destroyer of the Gentiles, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of Jesse, he's on his way. And one day, he gonna crack through the skies, man, in what you call UFOs, and and take the vengeance upon Esau, Edom. This is um Revelation, chapter chapter nineteen and eleven, and I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse. The white horse represents what you people ignorant call a UFO. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. He's faithful because he he he, he um he had faith in 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 the adhering to to the word and will of the heavenly Father, and true because he's the word. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. So he he gonna bring that war, man. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. Look, man, he ain't saying he the the, 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 the um Lord, Lord, Lord gonna have twenty five crowns on his uh, on his head. Nah, it's saying that he just gonna take all the authorities, man. No nation, no heathen is gonna be able to stand in his way. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. That's a name in this verse applies him to a, 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 a reputation, man. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Right? And out of his mouth goes forth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. Right? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he and, and, and he treadeth the wine press for the fierceness of the wrath of the Almighty God. And that's what he's coming with, man. Look, when the one who you people are ignorant called Jesus Christ comes up, comes upon the earth, that's not gonna be a happy day. Right? Because he's only coming into to save his elect. But he he's also gonna take down the authority of Esau. Which you saw the people who you call yourselves wet. Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh from clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so are men. So, so, so that's how terrifying the day of the Lord is going to be, man, when, when he comes. And the thing about it is, yeah, you so good people, you call yourselves white, right? You, you, you fucking got the short straw, man. You know why? Because he's coming, the scripture says he's, he's basically going to destroy fucking Eden, right? But you know what? You are Eden. You so-called white people are Eden. This is, this is Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So you got to look in yourself in, in the mirror and consider, 
if I am Eden, right, or I am Esau, Eden, right, God hates me and he's coming to destroy me. And to compound all of this, you are going to go into slavery, man. Right? And guess what? When he he, he uh, died and got 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 risen up, right? Guess what? He sat at the right hand of the heavenly Father, right? Well, guess what the scripture says about the Lord sat at, at, at the right hand. This is Psalm one hundred and ten and five. The Lord at that right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. So, so the one who he called Jesus, well, guess what? He gonna strike. Through kings in the day of his wrath. And his real name is Yahweh Shai. He shall judge among the heathen. The chief heathen is you so called white people. If you go back to the seed of a man named Esau Eden. And all your other nations. He shall fill the place. So he's saying he shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with their dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. And that's what he's bringing onto the earth. So, 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 so. So that's what the scripture says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it, is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and it's not light. So, so all you guys want to be, be, be um, puffed up and proud, especially Esau, you wait. Because the Lord is coming for you. The Lord is coming for you, man. The Lord is coming for you. And when he comes, you, you can't run away. And guess what? After he's destroyed, after this kingdom of, of Esau is destroyed, through... World War Three, the um, Lord's return and his chariots, you're gonna go right into slavery. This is um, Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the patience, the faith of the saints. And, uh, and you enslaved the children of God, man. You enslaved off, so guess what? You gonna be enslaved. But the interesting thing is this: after you serve your period of slavery, you're gonna be destroyed forever. You you're gonna actually just be extinct. This is Obadiah eighteen, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So, because you spoke it, it gonna happen. You are not gonna ever. Ex you are gonna be taken out after he takes out your kingdom. And these are the words of the Lord. So, with that, I'm gonna say all praise be to Allah Shimashai. Double on this process of the elders of great millstone. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom.